Hello. We are going to look at the hip joint right here. And I'm going to go into full screen mode by clicking on there. But before I do that, I want to go over what all these other markings are. This plays it. Now, I can stop it by pressing stop. This rotates a little that way. This rotates a little bit this way. And this is going, to, you can also just grab it and rotate it. That's what I'm going to be doing when I talk about it. Now you'll notice these pluses. Those are going to give you landmarks and possibly some ligaments. At least one of them is missing. Actually, most of them are missing on this one. It was very finicky when I was doing this one. So I had good luck with the first two. Then I took a break, came back a couple days later, and the program did not like me anymore. So you could, it'll tell you what they are by mousing over. So let's zoom in on our hip now. So here's our hip. There's our iliac crest right there. There's our anterior superior spine. Here is our oracle of our ilium. This is the ala of the ilium, that's the iliac blossom. We have here our pubic bone with our superior pubic ramus. We have the ischium back there with the ischial spine. If I keep rotating a little bit more, there's the ischial spine. There is the posterior inferior spine, posterior superior spine. So we have these ligaments that are attached to the femur right there. And you can sort of see the head is trying to hide in the acetabulum. There's the greater trochanter. But before we go over these ligaments, I want to talk about two other joints here. We have a joint right here where we have the auricle of the ilium attached to the auricle of the sacrum, and it's going to form the iliosacral joint. This is page 57. We have the ala of the sacrum and the ala of the ilium coming together, and they're actually coming together at their auricular surfaces, which you can't see on this picture. And this is a gliding joint. So you now there's about five zillion tendons connecting them together, so you don't have that much movement. We're not that flexible at the moment. But you do have some gliding or sliding action. Now the other one, here is the pubic bone, superior pubic ramus, inferior pubic ramus, pubic turbuckle. We have the symphysial surface right here. So that's the symphysial surface. And if you look in between the two, there's some fibrocartilage right there. This fibrocartilage allows for compression during childbirth. So muscles attached to the ilium actually are going to flare the ilium out. That's going to cause the two pubic bones to compress. So this is a symphysial joint. That's made out of fibrocartilage, one of the two cartilaginous joints. So back to our hip and the main ball and socket joint. So we have the round head of the humerus. See the nice round head? And it's going to fit into the acetabulum. And there's actually a ligament holding the head in place right there, which we're not going to talk about. So. This is the anterior superior spine. That's the anterior inferior spine. And it has a ligament that goes to the greater trochanter right there. Called, and this is called the iliofemoral ligament. Ooh. So I'm going to rotate a little bit. Now here is the superior pubic ramus. There's a cute little turbicle. And we're going to go from the superior pubic ramus to the femoral, femur. Well, this is the iliofemoral ligament. That is going to be the pubofemoral ligament. Keep rotating. There's the ischial ramus. Ooh, the ischial tuberosity. I went for a bike ride yesterday, and boy, am I feeling that now. This one is going from the ischium to, yes, again, the greater trochanter. This is the ischial femoral ligament. So there's a lesser trochanter, there's a greater trochanter. I think your book actually says it ends up on the intertrochanter line, but this model is putting it here. And you'll notice there's actually a joint capsule right there, which we're not worrying about. The head is actually held in place by another ligament. So those are the three ligaments. And again, this is a ball and socket joint. So you could put your left leg out, your left leg in. It allows you to flex your thigh. That is pulling your leg up, it allows you to extend your thigh. You can abduct your thigh, that would be going out to the lateral side. 
could AD duct your thigh, which should go in. And you could circumduct. That is the hokey pokey. That's what life is all about. So that is the hip joint.